much shorter line for testing today. Across Ontario, COVID tests are now by appointment only. This is so much better, Amaz so much better, yeah. And it was so nice to be able to book a spot and especially when you have a little one. But there's confusion. The province just announced the change on Friday afternoon. And today, some testing centres are closed. This couple didn't have an appointment and gets turned away. The province wants to end the hours of waiting at testing centres and cut the backlog at labs. That's now at almost 79,000. Julie speaking. Toronto Public Health is now you? putting contact You're tracing on bad. hold, except for congregate settings like schools, hospitals and nursing homes. Even with a thousand staff, they can't keep up. The system is overwhelmed right now. The number of cases and outbreaks expanding throughout our city requires more immediate interventions, and if not, we're headed towards more severe lockdowns. The longer delays in testing means tracing starts later and becomes less effective. If we have 300 cases a day, that generates, let's say, 3,000 new contacts, and it's a very laborious process to track all those people down and then touch base with them every day. Once you can't do contact tracing in, in isolation, you're now essentially uh, flying blind. And now we're in a situation where we may have to go down into another lockdown type situation to get things back under control. This doctor supports a targeted shutdown for Ontario's hotspots to close indoor dining at restaurants and shut banquet halls and gyms for 28 days the downstream effect of all of this that we thankfully haven't seen yet is an explosion of hospitalizations. Uh, we still have time to prevent that, but we do have to act very quickly. The Ontario government says it's giving more help with contact tracing, hiring hundreds of staff over the coming weeks. Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto. Let's bring in infectious disease specialist Dr. Isaac Bogosh, who is in Toronto. And, and Dr. Bogosh, first of all, your reaction to the changes to testing in Ontario? Well, on the one hand, there's going to be some positives associated with it. It'll probably help with the backlog. Uh, and it's certainly a, a more efficient way to use the limited resources that we have to really ensure that people who have symptoms or exposures or risk, risk factors for COVID-19 to really ensure that they get a test. But of course, there's no free lunch and there will be some detriment to this. Uh, it might turn people away that will uh, otherwise would have come forward for testing. It might raise additional barriers to testing for people in, in marginalized communities that are disproportionately impacted by this virus. Uh, and it might not truly reflect the numbers of new cases that we're actually seeing in Ontario by turning these people away. So there's some pros and, and there's clearly some cons associated with it. We have about 30 seconds left. I was watching that very sobering news conference from officials in Toronto on Friday. How, how dire is the COVID situation in your city? Yeah, certainly Dr. Eileen Davila uh, painted a, a pretty dire picture. We're really at a turning point here in Toronto in the GTA and we really have to turn the corner quickly and get these cases under control. She's calling for more strict measures and I certainly believe that uh, many people would agree that that is the right approach to do to get this under control because the current measures don't seem to be working. All right, Dr. Bogosh, as always, thank you. Take care.